Hi, I'm IPB Pro Hello Torino. I'm going to train some legs with Maximum Muscle Report today. If you like what you see here today, please like, subscribe, and follow below. Also, leave a comment what you would like to see me train next. I'll show you one of my favorite exercises or favorite giant sets for hamstrings and glutes. So the easy version is again, keep both feet in the floor like this. Make sure you have the weight in the back. Don't lean forward, that's gonna pull the weight to your quads. And here in this exercise, I wanna target more of the hamstrings and the glutes. So make sure you get your um, shoulders back, squeeze your shoulder blades a little bit. That will help you keep upright and keep the weight on your heel. Then the more advanced version will be again, you lift your leg, engage your core. So make sure you really squeeze your lower abs. So you get core, hamstrings, glutes, all in one. And I do about 12 to 15 steps each way. Weight on your heel. Keep your shoulders back. Next exercise. If you have it, you can do the stiff leg uh, deadlift on a cable. If you don't have it at your gym, uh, just use a barbell or dumbbells. Doesn't matter. It's a technique that matters. So make sure, again, squeeze your abs. Keep your core tight. Then keep your legs straight but not locked. So keep a little tiny bend and then make sure you really get your booty out. Squeeze your glutes and hams at the top. So I kind of like let the bar go forward, pull forward a little bit to get more traction on the hamstring. Keep your back straight as you come down. You wanna have a very, very straight back. You don't wanna be rounding. Keep your spine straight and keep your neck straight. So don't put your head down or up. That's like bad for your, for your spine health in the neck. So keep it straight. Stretch, feel it in the hams, squeeze the glutes. Stretch the hams, squeeze the glutes. Stretch. There's a little trick. As you come down, I kind of um, push my heels in, in my shoe. So I come down and then I push the heels in to kind of engage my hamstring, to kind of pre-squeeze the hamstring. So I squeeze it there and come up. Heels in, toes out, and come up. And then sometimes I reverse that. So I might do two sets where I come down, push the heels in, toes out, and then for the next two sets, I do the opposite. Come down and I squeeze the heels out 
and I come up. So all the way up, I keep squeezing the heels out. So already on the way down, I start squeezing the heels out and then squeeze, 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 squeeze heels out. And the reason why I'm doing this is that one, I engage the hamstring more and two, there's two heads on the hamstring. So you got an inner head, inner head and outer head on the hamstring. So depending on if you push in or you push out, you engage different parts. So pushing out, I'm more on the outside. Pushing in, I'm more in here on the inside. You can probably see it in the video when I push that it engages different parts of the muscle. So yeah, it can be done with uh, dumbbells as well. I can just quick show so with dumbbells it would be the same that you kind of get the weight in front of your body to create some traction come up here out in you do the same thing in the shoe and now i'm pushing the um heels in Now I'm pushing the heels out. So you can stand on the floor, you can stand on something. It's a little bit depending on how tall you are. With this exercise, it's not really crucial that you get as low as possible. What is it is about is that you get that stretch in the hamstring. So if you can get it here, I keep my shoulder blade down. It's not about rounding and going really low. It's again bad for the spine. So keep the back straight and go as far as you can without letting everything hang. So keep that traction, keep your shoulder blades engaged and back as you stretch. It's all about the hamstrings. I try and rule the back out of this. Like, don't pull with your lower back. That's why I'm squeezing the toes one or the other way because that engages and makes this work. So it's basically a pre-tension where I say, you gotta work. I gauge this and it started working. If you don't, you can easily just do like a sort of hyperextension and just pull with your lower back and you don't really get much hamstring out of it. So this is a really um, important tip for hamstring development. So we got in our giant set here, we got the lunges, we got the um, stiff leg deadlifts with either cables, bubble, dumbbells. The next thing I would do is, um, I wanna show you guys how to do a lying leg curl with a dumbbell because it's like, it's not all gyms that has it and it's like, you gotta know how to be creative and have a variety of exercises. It's easy to pick up, just place it like this, your dumbbell, and then you gotta squeeze your toes in like this. Place your knees on the bench here and squeeze in. What I like about this exercise, so you just gotta keep your knees just here at the end of the bench. And what I like about this exercise is to be able to hold a dumbbell, you gotta squeeze your feet together. So you're using your inner thighs a lot. So it's not just your hamstring, it's inner thigh and hamstring movement. So I like to like stay up on my um, elbows so I don't lay flat. The reason why I do this is because I wanna keep my lower back down. I don't want my lower back to ride up like this, and then you're gonna be able to pull a lot with your lower back. So I kind of 
want to keep that out of it. So I push my lower back down, stay on my elbows, squeeze at the top, get the stretch, push your toes together, squeeze. And I go, 15 reps. So my hamstrings are getting pretty fry now, but I want to pull in some glute work also. And uh, I can easily do that even though the hamstrings are fried. So this is kind of like I call it a frog hyperextension. <laughs> it's like a hyperextension, but you use, you, you have like a frog kind of stance here. And you're actually using your glutes to come up. So what I do is, I go to parallel and then I do a pre-tension again. So to rule out the lower back when I'm here, I squeeze my glutes together all I can. So I come up, bend the legs a little bit, bend the knees and squeeze the glutes. I squeeze as hard as I can. I come down to parallel. You don't want to go too low because if you go really low, you're going to use your lower back. So I want to Stay in the glutes, so I just go parallel, squeeze the glutes here parallel, come up and squeeze. So basically, they're squeezed the entire time. Here, don't let go, keep them squeezed. You don't want that back to take over. And keep going. Just wrap it out, really get that burn in those glutes. Burn it, burn it. Keep going. Even when you feel like you can't squeeze out another rep, use the handles to come up. Use the handles, squeeze. Use the handles, squeeze. Squeeze, that way you can just push out a little bit more and we can even put one more exercise on because it's a giant set so we gotta keep going. So I go here on the bench again in a froggy position. So kind of keep your um, inner thighs here where the, your groin inner thighs where the bench is ending. And then you, you wanna pull up your knees as high as you can. And you kick up, kick up, kick up. So upwards, pull them in. Upwards, pull them in as if you're doing a sumo squat. Pull them in those knees. You can even end off, end it off by doing some half ones here at the top, just to really. Bring it out. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, damn. <laughs> Those, these are hard, but I'm telling you, like if you want nice round glutes, <laughs> these are great exercises to do. So I want you to really try it out. This is even exercises you can do for a home workout. Um, you know, we start with the lunges. If you have some dumbbells at home, uh, some water bottles or whatever, you can do your lunges. You can do your stiff leg with the water bottle or the lunges, whatever you have. The same like, even these, you know, if you don't have a bench, it's fine. You can lay on the floor, you know, just like this. Make sure you have your feet placed correctly here at the end of the dumbbell. Use your inner thighs, squeeze them together. 
you kind of place the dumbbell at your arch. That way you can squeeze your toes together. And then we go. I use this variation also, especially if I go heavy. I go down and set it and up. Set it and up. That way I can handle a heavier weight. So I alternate a little bit some workouts. I go really heavy and set it. And others, I'll keep the tension. And I just keep going and I just burn it out. You could make a uh, superset out of it if you want to go heavy. And you go like maybe eight reps. Switch the dumbbell, go lighter, and then you burn it out with reps. Or even like if you're burned out, just drop it and go. Keep the tension. Just flex it. Keep that tension in your hamstring. Don't let it go. You want to keep the tension. As if you're posing. Keep that tension and just let it go. Until you see now it's like it's almost not going anymore. <laughs> And then uh, the froggy um, glute, yeah, you would need a bench for that, but um, I'm just being creative now, like, be creative at home. You can even just, instead of the froggy, you can do, like, if you want to do the froggy to the side, you can go here. It really, it's really good for your hip mobility also so you can just go there and you can also alternate it so we have the hip froggy glute one and you can go straight i just like to have exercises that involve multiple joints because a lot of the workouts today is like they're very straight you know bench press curls squats leg presses, everything is this way. So I like to do exercises that way also. For instance, the froggy one, it just involves more of your hip mobility, which is super, um, super important to have for just movement in daily life and just be loose on the hips. So, you know, so there's no excuses. If you can't make it to the gym, here's definitely a good home, work, uh, home um, workout plan for your hammies and your glutes.